My answer to that is yes and no. Uh, if you look at the alternatives, uh, they're all bad. And so it's like an avoidance-avoidance conflict. And sooner or later, we're going to need to become enlightened and sentient enough to at least be willing to debate and consider the possibility of doing this. And I think that reasonably in intelligent people that are willing to think more freely than most of us, um, uh, that what we need right now are, is an intelligent discussion about the possibility of this, about, well, how can we implement this? How can we regulate it? How can we work with this in such a way that everybody can benefit and not just a few large corporations? And because, to my way of thinking, a day like today, here we are in Vilcabamba, Ecuador, and the the sky is blue, the puffball clouds are wafting by, the air is fresh, uh, just breathing the air feels good, it's healthy here, it's green, it's lush, uh, we have our fresh organic vegetables. Uh, it's really hard to have disease when we're here, and the whole earth could be that way too. We could have heaven on earth, we could have a paradise, we could have great abundance, and the key area for that is energy. But it's also water, it's many other things too, of course. But if we can develop clean energy sources, then we have a leg up on being able to plan our future rationally and have a truly sustainable and abundant future for humankind. Well, I, I think in, in my personal view is, is that we all um, need to become educated. We need to become responsible creators. We need to understand, uh, for example, what some of these breakthrough concepts are and what their potential is and how they might be integrated into the culture. Because if we're to truly have a democratic, decentralized, relocalized world, we, we also want to have energy sources which are not controlled through uh, uh, horrendous uh, grid systems and centralized power plants. Uh, in which uh, the control elements can take over. What we're talking about here then is a decentralized, democratized uh, energy system. And uh, that also then requires personal responsibility for all of us to take part in uh, not only leading healthy, uh, undiseased lives ourselves, but to also uh, serve the greater cause, which is to create a sustainable future for humankind, for the earth. Uh, nature is crying out for its rights as well as human rights. Humans are obviously destroying the planet at the rate we're going. We don't have all that much time left. And so it requires individuals to evolve, to live healthily, and to uh, allow themselves the time to study and to articulate and to tell your friends uh, and your colleagues the huge potential we have in our energy economy if we would only embrace the possibility that we could have a clean energy future. I, I totally agree with that and that might be the concept uh, that will be adopted uh, there, there are many, many concepts or ideas. Uh, being a kind of elder uh, kind of person these days, I uh, had thought the government or some government could take the responsibility and start a research and development laboratory to develop this. Uh, very clearly that's not happening outside of the black budget. But I think open sourcing is a wonderful approach. It's, it combines altruism with enterprise. And what it does is, is that it, it gives away the basic technology. Um, and since the patent office denies it anyway, why not just make it open and just give it away? And some people are beginning to do that on the Internet. Sometimes all you have to do is Google uh, free energy or new energy or zero point energy or cold fusion. Any of those words will get you to the concepts and you can even see for yourself some of these demos on YouTube and some of the inventors now just want to give it away. They want to just show you how to build it. The only problem with that of course is at this point 
the technology is fairly complex and sensitive. It's uh, just like information systems in a way. It's going to take a few years to develop it to the point where you really have um, a, uh, uh, let's say, a, a viable prototype. Uh, we're not there yet. We have research devices, just like the early computers with vacuum tubes, and they're pretty crude by future standards. But I do envision small solid state devices and somebody can go out and make the gizmos and make some money and at the same time the basic technology would be in the public domain and free for anybody to use as they wish. I think that the only caveat I'd have on that is again we don't want to see this uh, abused so there has to be some regulatory mechanism just like Wall Street uh, needs regulation now badly and the military industrial complex and big agriculture and any big business needs antitrust laws, well, the same thing would go for any new technology as well.